Good morning. It is just before 11 o'clock and I'm in Houston right now. If you can see my little kitten right behind me, there's Radar. Radar. Yeah. She is riding with us because we are heading down to Galveston today. It's the grand opening of Royal Caribbean's brand new Pier 10, where Allure of the Seas is going to be home-based. But we are taking an Adventure of the Seas cruise that leaves tomorrow morning, and I believe it's the first sailing out of this new port. So I'm really excited. We're going down to Galveston today so that we can hopefully get a glimpse of the Allure because it arrived in town yesterday. We are stopped right now for John to get a haircut and then we're gonna drop Radar off with his mom to stay for the week. Our goal for the day is to get down there, be in our swimsuits and in the pool for sunset. When we were through Galveston last month in the old terminal, we were through and on the ship in eight minutes. So we will see if the new port can live up to the expectation that the previous process at Galveston did. I mean, this is a very efficient port. So anyway, I'm real excited. We'll see you um, when we get down to Galveston later this afternoon. Say goodbye to Radar. Good night, Radar. We'll see you after the cruise. Bye. <laughs> It is 3.30 and we are just about to enter Galveston Island. Is it called an island? Yeah, it's Galveston. Yeah. I saw Alana and a few of my other friends on Facebook talking about how they're on the Allure today. So I knew that it had come into port. I didn't realize they were doing an inaugural sailing today. So we won't be the first ship leaving. You might, that might be it over there, do you see the big yeah, ship? Yeah, it is, that is it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's on the left. That's so crazy. But we're still about six miles out. We're getting here right at check-in time at four. So we're gonna switch into our suits and then watch the sun go down from the pool, which will be really nice kicking off this vacation. John is parking. I've got our luggage. The room we picked on the fourth floor is not ready, but the fifth floor is. So I'm taking our bags up and I already saw someone else that's going on the ship tomorrow checking in. And they gave me my Hilton gift, which is like water and cookies. And we get a $30 food credit. Or this one. That one looks a little better. It's kind of chilly. Okay, first one onto the bench seat. Doesn't have to come back when she brings drinks. Or maybe she'll bring them right there. I think she'll probably bring them right there. <gasps> okay. <gasps> so what are we gonna put over there? A drink. We're gonna get a drink. <laughs> okay. Okay. a live video which makes me think that the ship might be taking off so we're gonna go sit on the other side of the swim up bar here and have some oceanfront seating I'll try and show you as the ship goes by and we can wave at Ilana and all of our other friends that are on board and then tomorrow we get to sail away out of the same pier oh they have fried pickles
So Allure of the Seas is leaving Galveston for the first time in its entire history and it's the largest ship now that's ever gone out of Galveston and we're watching it as it goes right by the front of our hotel. Well, not right by, but close enough for us to see it and it is off there in the distance. The Allure has gone by, it was basically, it started here and went along this way and then has kind of faded into the horizon now. So it's still beautiful. We are waiting on what we ordered. Originally we were gonna order fried pickles, they're out of them. Then we were ordering fish and chips and shrimp cocktail, and they're out of shrimp cocktail, but we get a regular cocktail free because of that. And we're just enjoying The waitress said we have to come back down here because the pier lights up at night so even though it's the sun will be down it's a really pretty scene yeah actually we can see it from our balcony but we're on the top floor almost on the corner of the building so we'll have a really nice view and we can wake up to the sunrise and then our ship will be the next one leaving right there we ordered the fish and chips which is really good Three big pieces of fish. Look at that sunset, oh my God. And here is my free, what was that? Oh my God, Texas sized bugs over here. But I got a rum runner, which was free since they don't have the other thing we ordered. So yay. We're gonna walk down to the beach and take a look at the shore. We are at Double Tree Hilton, Galveston Island, and it is a beautiful property. We paid a little bit more than you would pay to stay off the island. I think it's called Texas Island or Texas City. If you have the option to pay a little bit more and be here on Galveston, I would recommend doing that. balcony now and what is it like 6 30 6 30 there is the ocean you can't see anymore and the pool which we had all to ourselves we had an awesome waitress named Stacy who made sure she was updating us it wasn't her fault that they didn't have most of what we wanted to order so anyway, she told us that they're open down there until 10 if we want to come back. And they did end up charging us for the um, shrimp cocktail that was out of stock. So we had to return the check and that took 25% off of our overall balance. So if they make a mistake, I would usually just like pay and not be worried about it. But John ran up and had it corrected. And because they have an auto gratuity of 22%, it made a huge difference on the bill. So just double check if you're gonna be here. We got to see the allure leaving Galveston, which was like our main goal of coming here tonight. And now we're gonna relax and wake up tomorrow morning in time to be at the pier for the first boarding group at 11. <laughs> Getting ready to go to the port with coffee. And look at this, they actually have liquid creamer. We are boarding Adventure of the Seas today. Our check-in time is at 11. We're only a mile and a half from the New Royal Caribbean pier where Allure of the Seas left from last night. I'll show you some of this brand new pier, which should be awesome. And we are parking there. We're the first paying passengers to go through, so we get that claim to fame. We see our ship and we're parking Pier 10 North Lot. We are parking right by the ship. That Woohoo! And all these trucks are filling up the ship. So we have a QR. Thank you. Thanks. All right. And we 
are 30 minutes early for our appointment, so we'll see if they let us in. First day, the outdoor line wrapping around the building. On the other side of the terminal. Where do Look at this line. <laughs> oh my God. I say we get in the end here behind this blue shirt. Yeah. Wow, those must be people getting off. Wow, 